Hello, and welcome to this 500 ADAT quick tutorial on expanding your audio interface using ADAT. 500 ADAT is one of the most powerful ways to expand the capabilities of your current audio interface. ADAT is a digital audio protocol that transports eight channels of audio through an optical fibre cable. If you have maxed out the I.O. of your audio interface, you can use ADAT to free up its analog connections and increase the amount of recording channels available on the system. By connecting 500 ADAT to your audio interface, you not only get more channels to record, but you also gain access to the 500 series lunchbox format directly in your studio workflow. In this video, we're going to use 500 ADAT to expand the capabilities of this audio interface using optical cables and the ADAT protocol. To get started, you first need to check that your audio interface has ADAT connections. This RME UFX2 has two sets of ADAT inputs and outputs, which enables you to get the maximum channel count at all sample rates with 500 ADAT. Other interfaces, like this UA Apollo X4, may only have one set of ADAT ports, and other interfaces feature a single ADAT input, like this UA Apollo Twin. Each of these devices are both compatible with 500 ADAT in some capacity, but might have their own limitations at different sample rates. For more information, check out the links in the description. To get started, you need to connect the ADAT outputs of 500 ADAT to the ADAT inputs of your audio interface and vice versa. As a quick tip, ADAT outputs pass a red light through the cable, so connect the optical cables with red lights into the inputs of the next device. Once everything is connected and powered up, we then need to decide which device will be the clock master and then configure the clock and sample rate settings of the two devices correctly. 500 ADAT features its own extremely low jitter reference clock design that in many cases outperforms the clock built into your audio interface. To make the most out of this clock in any system, we want to set 500 ADAT as the master and set the audio interface as the slave. To enable 500 ADAT to generate its own internal clock and be the clock master of our setup, we need to use the dip switches on the rear panel. First, we need to raise dip switch 5 to the up and on position, and then ensure dip switches 6 and 7 are down and off. Next, using dip switches 1 to 4, we need to decide which sample rate we want to use for recording. In this example, we're going to use 48k. In the future, it may be possible for 500 ADAT to auto-detect sample rate or control sample rate selection using a software panel from Mac and PC. Next, simply set the clock source of your audio interface to ADAT using the supplied software for your audio interface. Finally, set the sample rate of your interface to match the setting assigned on 500 ADAT's dip switches. In this case, it's already set to 48K. Now that the clocking and sample rate selection has been correctly assigned, we can begin passing audio. To begin recording, open a new project in your DAW and set the sample rate to match the settings on 500 ADAT. Create a new audio track and set the inputs of the channel to ADAT inputs 1 to 8. These eight channels of ADAT will correspond with the eight slots on 500 ADAT, and so you can use any of these inputs to record audio from the connected 500 ADAT. On 500 ADAT itself, connect your audio source to the rear XLRs, set the source switch to analog, and set the installed modules to your taste. Now, when you press record, the audio comes into 500 ADAT and then out into the interface via the ADAT connections. When you want to send audio in the other direction, simply assign the outputs of the audio channels to ADAT outputs 1 to 8, and set the source switches on 500 ADAT to their ADAT positions. Now when you press play, the audio will come out of your interface via ADAT and directly into 500 ADAT for further processing. This has only been a quick tutorial on expanding your audio interface using ADAT. Every audio interface will handle this setup slightly differently However, the main process remains the same. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and check out the other videos in the series for more tutorials.